Welcome to West Houston's weekly devotional. Each week is an opportunity for us to seek out how we can grow our hearts for Jesus, His people, and His world. This week's devotional comes from Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. Jets are fascinating things, and maybe it's because I'm a boy, but I always remember playing with jets when I was younger, pretending I was a jet, all kinds of things. And I always thought that it was really cool when you saw them paired up with an aircraft carrier. If you had both toys, it was always just a fun time. It's like when sea and air meet, it's, it's a combination you rarely get anywhere else. But one thing I always found interesting with jets is how they land on aircraft carriers. That when they hit the deck, they actually go full throttle. It's it's so backwards compared to what you would expect. You would think that when they land, they should hit the brakes, just like you do when you fly commercially. You hit the runway, they slam on the brakes, and they shift into their reverse thrusters, which makes us kind of lean into those seatbelts a little bit more. So why do jets landing on aircraft carriers accelerate instead of hitting the brakes? It's because when the jet lands on the aircraft carrier, they're actually stopped by the jet catching a wire that pulls them to a halt. It's an incredibly difficult maneuver and one of the reasons why naval aviators are held in such high esteem throughout the world. But even for the best, what happens if the pilot actually misses the cable? Well, if they hit the brakes as we would expect, then their jet would miss the line and just fall into the ocean. And so instead, what pilots are trained to do is as they land, they accelerate. So just in case if they miss that wire, they still have the speed to take off and reroute and try to land again. I think this is just a great analogy for we as Christians should balance out our faith in our works. See, in Philippians chapter 2, it reads in verse 12, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. See, Paul wrote this to the Philippians in that they should work out their salvation with fear and trembling, that they should use their lives and live out them in a way that demonstrates their salvation to the entire world in respects to who God is. That we live out our salvation because God has placed in us a desire or a will for Him and a work for God's good pleasure. See, I've heard it in our day and age. I've heard people say before that that if you pray about something, if you have enough faith, that God will make it happen. That if you start trying to do things on your own, you're only going to get in God's way. But I think that sometimes we need to have faith, but still put things into action. We need to see our faith in action as well. It's this balance of complete trust in the salvation from Jesus Christ on the cross and working to bring Him glory. We don't work to bring glory to Christ so that we have salvation. We have salvation and that leads us to work for His glory. So don't go and pray for a job and then just sit back and wait for God to bring you one. Don't tell God that you need to grow in your faith, but then you won't share it with others. Don't ask God to do the impossible when you won't even start doing something possible. Trust in Jesus, know that that line is there, and that God will absolutely catch you every single time. And make sure that your faith is in full throttle so that you are working out your salvation with fear and trembling to the Lord. Thanks for listening to West Houston's Weekly Devotional. If you know somebody who'd be encouraged by this devotion, please feel free to share it with them. And if you'd like to join us for worship, we meet every Sunday at 10 a.m. You can find us and more information at our website, em.westhoustonvbc.org. Or you can find that link in the show notes below. We hope to see you this upcoming Sunday. God bless.